Hey guys, so next question, how much time does it take to be a coach? And honestly, it can take as little as one hour a day, which is our power hour, or it can take you a couple hours a day. It really just depends whether you wanna do this as part-time or, or if you can transition and do it full-time. Um, you can still be successful when you, whether doing it for an hour. We call it our power hour. We have it broken down three different areas for 20 minutes and really you just maximize your time. So we're not, you know, like trolling on Facebook. You know, I, I do it a lot. I sit down, I'm like, okay, I've got to get through this. I need to follow up with these people. I need to, you know, schedule some posts and whatnot. But then all along the way, oh, you know, ding, like a little advertisement pops up, you know, and then I might start looking at that and shopping or I see someone's on, on, online. So then I start messaging them just for fun, you know, personal stuff, or I get an email and then I'm, you know, we get sidetracked and then what happened to that one hour ends up being two hours and then did we get really everything done? No. So when we do that power hour, we're really focusing, we stick to just those three areas, we get it done, and then after that, then you know, you can have your fun. Um, I stick with that. I don't always just do an hour. I really try to do more about two hours a day, but then throughout the day, you know, depending, people are messaging me, you know, I'm getting some interest, or people are comments, I see comments, then of course, you know, you, you spend the time and you just quickly, you know, respond. So, that's, and in a nutshell, easily how little time you can spend. I mean, you could spend, you know, hours and hours to do it, but do you really need to? No, you don't really need to spend hours and hours a day on Facebook. Now, most of us are already on Facebook, so is it really going to be taking additional time from what we were already doing? Not really, because you're sharing everything. You're sharing what you're doing. You're sharing what you ate, take a picture, do a selfie after you worked out, you know, just sort of like justification, like for real, I did work out. I'm not just saying like typing, I worked out and yet, you know, I'm in full makeup and I haven't, you know, broken a sweat in a week. Take that picture, take that selfie, like look, I am a hot mess, I got sweat dripping down, like mascara is coming off or whatever, you know, to show that you are a product of the product, it really works, you're really doing it. You know, same thing with your food. I take pictures of my food also, to, not just to share, but also to hold myself accountable. There might be some days that it's not as healthy, but I still take a picture just so that I've got it as evidence for myself to be like, hey, you know what? Maybe you don't really deserve that Vita Top or that dessert tonight because you really didn't do so hot earlier in the day, kind of a thing. Plus it also, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We're all working hard. We all have different stressors in our lives, you know, and we all deal with it differently. So I just try to, you know, be more uh, open as far as that aspect of my life. Now, not every aspect of my life is going to be open, but as far as my fitness and my health, I'm for sure going to share that. So in that already I was starting to share. So it was no real difference in time from what I was doing before. The time extra that I'm spending now is developing relationships. And you have to spend time with that. Nobody's going to want to spend any dollar amount if you don't build a relationship with them, if they don't trust you, if they don't feel safe. So that's really how I feel and how I see the time, sorry, the time that I have spent is time spent building relationships and making new friends that I most likely would not have made because I am a stay-at-home mom. Would I have been able to meet some of the people that I know now from Pennsylvania, from New Jersey, you know, from Tennessee, Florida, Colorado? No, I wouldn't be traveling all over there. I'm still in Arizona and I haven't left. So really, you can still have a full-time job and do this. You could be a stay-at-home mom and do this. It really just depends on where and how fast you want to build your business or whether you just want to have it as a discount, which is perfectly okay as well. So those are your great two options. And just think, sky is the limit. It's all you. It's your business and you can decide how to drive your business.